Hi guys, do you have roller shades from companies such as 3 Day Blinds or Sumfy that you would like to automate and allow to control through smart hubs and the internet? Do you have older ceiling fans or the remote that you want to connect to the internet easily with almost no installation? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how this $99 bond bridge will allow you to connect existing products that use an IR or RF signal to the web. We have these battery powered remote control roller shades in our house that were installed by 3-Day Blinds. And there's a small remote that puts them up and down or pauses them. And they work great until you're stuck on the couch feeding a baby or if you can't find the remote. 3-Day Blinds did have an option to connect their system to the internet for voice and phone control, but the device they will sell you is $250, which seems really excessive. I scoured the web at the time to find another way or a different device, and reading through the forums, it appeared that the signal was proprietary or locked down from this French company. A year later, I came across an ad for the Bond Bridge, and they did say it controls shades, but there was no information at the time what brands it worked with. I purchased anyway in the interest of testing and it turns out it works fantastic with this brand Shade and Motors. Basically the way this works is you quickly and easily teach the Bond Bridge what signal and controls your existing remote uses. Once those are memorized inside the Bond Bridge, they will take your commands from your smart hub or your phone apps and blast those wireless remote signals throughout the entire home to activate your devices and open your shades, close your shades, pause your shades, turn on ceiling fans at different speeds, or turn the light on and off on your fan. The company says it can operate up to 30 different devices for up to 2,500 square feet per bridge. And our house is a pretty good size and one bridge has been covering both upstairs and downstairs. It can even operate a fireplace if there's a remote control for it. It is compatible with the three big smart hubs, and it is extremely easy to make your dumb devices smart with this thing. Normally, I would like to go through the whole setup and device process, but this one uh, installed and worked so easily, and the app was really high quality that I don't think it is worth the trouble here. If you run into any issues, feel free to leave comments below for anything specific, and I'll try to help you troubleshoot those. Once you're able to control your devices with the Bond app on your phone, the second step is to integrate the Bond with your smart hubs. There are detailed instructions on the Bond support website and I'll put a link below for that that'll walk you through the process. One of the other neat features with the Bond is now that you have internet connectivity to your shades, you can tell them to go up or down at a certain time of the day. For example, open every morning at sunrise or you can tell them to close every day at 4 p.m. to block that afternoon sun and keep your house cool. And using Alexa or Google, you can even tune it so that at a certain temperature, it opens or closes. So the possibilities are endless once you are connected to the bond. Anyhow, I wanted to share with everyone a much cheaper $99 option to control your some free shades instead of their $250 bridge which will do the same thing and has really good reviews online. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you have any questions or experience with blinds, I would love to hear your comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a like and a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.